thank you so much for joining in on YouTube and on Facebook and on my podcast, Right Mondays, Chats, Tunes and Crack. Make sure and create a watch party as well on Facebook. And this is my last episode. I hope you enjoyed your summer show of Right Mondays, Chats, Tunes and Crack. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved creating it for you. And it's just given me so much joy to bring so much joy to lots of you out there. And I usually have a collab video at this stage, which I do. I have lots because my very special guests are the Nesbitt family, my own family. And it just makes it so very special for me to be in Ireland and to be able to do my last episode in Ireland. and. It's going to be fantastic, everybody. And do keep an eye out on MarieNesbittViolin.com for really exciting, exciting news coming up and just so much new projects and one in particular coming up really soon. And as you all know, um, we did a family album together the Devil's Bit Sessions. And the Devil's Bit Mountain is the mountain local to the house here and this is the very room that we did the album and I have a collaboration video for you and it's from behind the scenes for the Devil's Bit Sessions Nesbitt family album and it's one that has not been heard or seen before so I hope you love it it has three generations of Nesbitts in it plus the extended Nesbitt family too and I hope you love it as much as I do <laughs> see each other with yeah. that mic stand. Is that okay? It's not in your way.
Everyone, think it was brilliant, wasn't it? Fantastic! Yes. 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 Such a great yes. time. What a few days! Hard to believe. Wow. Yeah, hard to believe. I know. Yeah. Hard to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to believe. Yeah. 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 What did you yeah. think, Tommy? Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was good. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. love the playing. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Oh, so many nice. tracks, right? Yes. Yeah. I think the only problem is we've enough for two albums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was so amazing um, just to have everybody in this room together and, you know, just to make music in, in the room that uh, my father and all his brothers grew up playing music and we grew up playing music in as well. And my grandmother as well uh, playing the fiddle. I remember her well playing beautiful tunes on the fiddle in this very room. So we had the amazing Brian Masterson, uh, wonderful, wonderful sound engine, um, producer and engineering the whole thing. We were so honored. And also um, Nate Rudell. Nate, thank you so much for all the beautiful video footage and you know, you were just so amazing. So I hope you all loved that. And also, I want to thank you all so very much for ordering from MarieNesbettViolin.com and Solstice.shop. MarieNesbettViolin.com is for all your musical needs. There's lots there, so much. Do go there. It's great fun. It's a fun site. And there's lots of music, lessons, cameo, personalized messages, you name it, it has got it. And also solstice.shop has the most amazing Celtic inspired jewelry and there's a 25% sale. So hop over there too. And you know, I have a few things lined up for you with the rest of the family. So here we go. Um, I just want to play you some other things first and I'll see you in a minute. I want to thank everyone too so much for booking their lessons this week and every week. It's so important to support your favorite musicians at this time and that's what you always do. And it's great to impart knowledge onto um, fantastic fiddle players. And here we are, I, I have your names down here, all from Paris to the Netherlands, to the USA, Canada, 
Thank you so much, everyone, for booking your lessons this week on RavenesWithViolin.com. You can book bundles as well. And it's just really great to catch up with everybody. Thank you so very much. And I have so much in this show. Of course, it's you know, the Nesbitt family, there's so much to pick from. And um, I have uh, so, some live music as well. And it's just, I can't wait to bring you the rest of the show. Anyway, here's what Carl Nesbitt has been at this week. And I'm going to play you his YouTube video for this week. Some of you have seen it, but it's amazing. And here we go. I love those tunes. They're on Carl's YouTube channel with lessons and tutorials and of course his lessons email flute tricks at hotmail.com and you can see Carl now in this next bit. I love these tunes. My brother Sean is the most amazing, uh, they call it the box here in Ireland but it's the button accordion and he's the most amazing button accordion player and uh, he is playing a beautiful tune here called the forever walls with carl hope you like it <laughs> beautiful Lockmore Castle in the heart of the busy and beautiful Lockmore village on the river shore in County Tipperary, my home village. And Lockmore Castle brings back memories as a child when we as kids were trying to decide whether it's a good idea to climb it or not. Lockmore Castle was the seat of the Purcell family who were the Barons of Lockmore. Construction of the castle began in 1328 the year that the family were granted the title of the Barons of Lockmore. Until the 1980s, it was possible to climb the spiral stair in the right-hand tower. The monument is now in the care of the Office of Public Works. The title, the Baron of Lockmore, is an Irish feudal barony and was possibly raised to a Jacobite peerage in 1690, while King James II of England was in exile. 
The feudal title was first granted to Richard Purcell in 1328 by James Butler, the first Earl of Ormond, as Palatine Lord of Tipperary. Irish and Scottish feudal titles, particularly those granted by Palatine Lords, are acknowledged as genuine hereditaments by the arms granting bodies of Ireland, Scotland and England, but were never formally recognised by the British Crown. Referring to the Purses of Lochmore specifically, the medieval Irish genealogist Dovlock Mac Irvishik wrote that Purcell genealogy begins with Charlemagne, Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. The oldest part of the castle was built in the 19th century and consists of a four-storey tower house. Additions were made by the Purcell family in the 17th century. The family lived in Lockmore Castle until about 1760. The land in which it was built on was granted to Sir Hugh Purcell in 1204 as a dowry from Beatrix Fitzwalter's father, Theobald Fitzwalter. At the same time this was built, a mill was erected not far from the castle, the mill that we saw earlier on beautifully restored. The first Baron of Loch Moor was Sir Hugh Purcell, who was given the title by James Butler, first Earl of Ormond and descendant of Theobald Fitzwalter. The last Baron of Lockmore, Nicholas Purcell of Lockmore, died March 1722 and ended the Barony of Lockmore. I'm in my beautiful Lockmore this week. This is my special place for this week. The gorgeous mill of Lockmore. And it's on the River Shore and the lovely duck house that is home to the ducks here and also the beautiful family of swans that are over on the river shore there having a rest. Mary. Hello Maraid, how are you? We're delighted oh. to have you here at the cottage Maraid and you're so good every time you're home you call oh. to see us and it's a pure honour and privilege that you call to see us. We just love seeing you. Thank you. Oh Mary, thanks so much everyone. This is Mary from the, the Lockmore Cottage and, and we have we're, we're, we've a few, we've written company yes, here Yes, we've written company here. Lockmore in the county final this coming Sunday. So these are the cottagers Fantastic. and they're here all week. And the smiles will go on their faces if they get tickets to the match for Sunday. Oh, so they're waiting and waiting and waiting to see what's going to happen. Oh, do you think they yeah. need a drop of tea? I think they need, might need a drop of tea. They might need yeah, a drop yeah, of tea yeah. now and behave themselves <laughs> while we're speaking. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mary, you know, the, the work you've done here is absolutely amazing. You know, the, the, the smiles and there's people looking at us here outside here yeah. and the smiles on everyone's faces. and. The amount of awards you've you've won, the Irish Times Award, the McKenna's multiple McKenna Guy Awards, yeah. and it's just amazing, Mary. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Maria. Mm. We're so proud of what we do here. Mm. But I'd like to just say that this is a community project, mm. and it was set up by the community for the community. And the concept is a lovely concept in so far as all the profits go back into the Lockmore Parish, and it's amazing to see the wheels turning. We have it's all embracing in so far as we have people employed here from the parish, we have food producers who provide the most amazing uh, food for us. And uh, it's lovely to see everybody involved. We have people, young kids come in to do their work experience. Yeah. We have volunteers, we have people with special needs who come to yeah. work with us. Yeah. So it's just magic really, what happens here at the cottage. It is magic, Mary, because every time we, we come down, and, and of course, as I always say, it's my yeah. favorite place to come every time oh. I'm back. And um, it's you know the food from the local farmers That's it. and and just everybody you know bringing in their local produce and uh, as you said a community project it's just beautiful yeah thank you so much Marita and there's nothing like something that's homemade and that's, that's right. for sure. That's and right. like, uh, it's lovely to get the lovely fresh lettuces, the lovely fresh vegetables, and all our food is fresh and local within a five mile radius of this building. 
So that is just, uh, it's wonderful for everybody who comes in to enjoy food with us. It is wonderful, Mary. And you listen, you're just across the road from Lockmore Castle and down the road from the mill. Yeah. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful location. Yes, it's location, 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 that's for sure. And we have a lovely little cottage. This was just an old cottage and we renovated it recently. And we uh, just very lovingly restored the interior of it in uh, keeping it in the old style. And we have the half door and people love the half door. And the iconic photograph is, of course, the one at the half door. But we built on then a modern little sunroom out the back and we extended we provided car parking for people mm. so it's really in a wonderful location all you have to do is walk out this gate to your left you have the mill and the castle up yeah. the road you have the historic um, mccormick monument the village is just has come alive yeah. it's the heartbeat of the village really yeah. this is and like the builder said to us when he was doing the job he says i'm giving it its body but the community has given its soul that's so Absolutely. and that's true it's true, true. The, uh, the atmosphere here is always so lovely and welcoming and heartwarming food and you couldn't ask for more you couldn't ask for more and you're absolutely right. The community is the soul yeah. of, of it. And, yeah. and also, you hosted uh, in, in previous years as well, Culture Night, with Kathleen Nesbitt and all the music yes, here. Yes, we did. And, and, and it's fabulous. And it's uh, on again tonight as well. Yes. And, you know, it's, uh, Mary, you're always uh, so welcoming to everyone. Everyone, you know, they know they can come here and, and just hold the most beautiful events and, oh. and and just sit down and have a lovely cup of tea and coffee and and that lovely apple tart that you have uh, thank you Marie. <laughs> but we love people yeah. and that i suppose is what is is it shines out here at the cottage yeah. every member of the staff here we love to see people coming and they always get the warmest welcome and we hope they leave feeling better no yeah. matter how they feel coming in they'll feel better going yeah. away yeah. and that's what we love to do and it's just so good for everybody for the whole parish and we hope that it'll continue for many many years into the future that yeah. this facility will be here and not more we were so suffering from rural isolation and the lack of services yeah. a few years ago and this has brought everything to life you couldn't yeah. come up the village seven years ago and you wouldn't see a car and now it's life it's, it's wonderful it's it just is, wonderful it is wonderful and yeah. it, at this time especially mary it's absolutely yeah. amazing that people can sit outside on a beautiful day you yeah. the most beautiful wrought iron tables out here and the gorgeous yeah. um uh, seating and the back in the sunroom yeah. and you know no mats needed outside and it's just so beautiful yeah. you know and i just want to yeah. thank you so much thank mary you, again for 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 being on and saying thank hi you. to hi everybody. everybody hi everybody <laughs> i follow you every monday night and oh, i've been following goodness. you every monday night oh. and it's a, just a pleasure to see you and the whole yeah. parish of Lockmore is so proud of you for Marie. Oh. So proud of you and all you have achieved. You're a wonderful ambassador for not only Lock, for Lockmore, but for everywhere you go, America, no matter where you are. Yeah. And we just feel so honoured to even know you. So oh, thank you very look, much. Mary, thank, thank you. you so much for, for being on and, and bringing us uh, to this, this part of thank paradise. You. Thank brilliant. you very much. Thanks, thank Mary. You. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye bye. It was so wonderful to talk to Mary down at the cottage in Lockmore. It's really fantastic to have somewhere like that. And, you know, especially at this time, people can, um, you know, go outside safely um, and, and, you know, just, just be, you know, safely in a social distance way um, and, and, and be together. And, you know, thank you so much, Mary, for that wonderful chat. And, you know, I have a lovely, lovely clip from the cottage, actually, because we did culture night there very, very recently. And um, my mother, Kathleen Nesbitt, with uh, the Lockmore Colthus Kiltori Erin branch of Colthus, um, have their their uh, culture night and also but it was a national thing it was actually a national thing that 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 happened in ireland uh, a few nights ago so we have the kids from the class playing with uh kathleen my mother kathleen and my father john and i'm at the back as well the very back but here are the kids they're fantastic and this is a tune called craig's pipes <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, weren't they great? That's a gorgeous tune. I love that tune, Craig's Pipes. And, you know, I do have a Celtic spell because in honour of the Devil's Bit family album, Devil's Bit Sessions, the Nesbitt family, um, the Devil's Bit, as I said, is the local mountain to the area. And legend has it that the devil flew over the Devil's Bit mountain. He took a bite out of the mountain and flew over the Rock of Cashel. Well, actually, he flew over Cashel and spat out this piece of rock and made it into the Rock of Cashel. So that's the Celtic spell for today. <laughs> and I just thought it was suitable because it's where we did, you know, the album. And we, you know, uh, climbed every every week usually every week every sunday we go up the mountain and and climb climb the mountain so it is wonderful and it's a lovely lovely thing to do and here i have another gorgeous gorgeous picture of the tower as well and that's literally on the way up to the devil's bit also and i just uh, it is it is a beautiful thing to do every week and a lovely thing to do with the family as well. So there you go. And um, so let's see here, I'm back. And I just want to play you a, a few tunes here. We actually recorded this earlier on today in the sunshine. It was fabulous. And it's my brother, Noel Nesbitt on the flute and myself, on the fiddle and we were just out the back and it was so lovely in the sunshine and um we um they're just great tunes and we explain what they are as well and a big shout out to Joni Madden who composed the first tune as well. Enjoy this yeah <laughs> These are great tunes. They are. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, the first one, I think, is a Joni Madden wrote it. Yeah, The Cat's Meow, is it? Cat's Meow, yeah. Shout out to Joni. Hey, Joni. And the then the... One, the Humours of Glen. Humours of Glen. The Humours of Glen. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Try twice we'll each? Try, we'll try twice yeah, each. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah.
I love playing those tunes with Noel earlier on. <laughs> we had great fun doing those. And, you know, I'm so, so honored to have you know, my special guests, all my family on, but especially my mother and father. And my mother, of course, is Kathleen Nesbitt. Uh, she's a renowned um, educator. And of course, my father is as well. And I just want to talk a little bit about Kathleen Nesbitt first. Kathleen Nesbitt was born in Roscommon, South Sligo, Leitrim area, which is renowned for fiddle playing. Her mother and uncle were both fiddle players. And as a child, she was steeped in the local tradition inspiring and renowned musicians of the area as well as Tipperary and Clare influenced her at this time and made a lasting impression on the young fiddle player. In Dublin at Church Street and the Piper's Club she and her husband John were part of a rich and rewarding era in Irish music. She won the Oireachtas Gold Medal for Fiddle and with her husband John won the Oireachtas duet competition at a time when the list of competitors read like the who's who of Irish music. She was at this time an early member of the Castle Cayley Band and moving to Tipperary shortly after she began teaching music and became one of the most well-known teachers in Ireland and worldwide. Her pupils in Lockmore have won honours at all levels in fiddle, band and group playing. And in 1983, she taught at Scolaixia the intensive master classes run prior to Fla Ceon the Heron by Coltus Kilthori Aaron. Kathleen's a professor and lecturer on the TTCT Irish Music Teaching Course at Cultural in the Heron, Dublin, Ireland, and is instrumental in Irish traditional music being on a par with classical music in graded exams in schools in Ireland. This year, we'd love to congratulate my mom, Kathleen, for being awarded the Gratham on Coltish Lifetime Achievement Award for her contribution to music, education and culture, the highest possible award and you know with my dad I can't tell you the the how how lucky we feel as a family to have the amount of music that we were able to soak up as kids growing up and um, they're just walking encyclopedias of music and you know it's just absolutely amazing I have another gem for you this is an amazing group of tunes and um, it's with, uh, of course, Kathleen Nesbitt, she's in the middle, and I'm there as well, and my sister Frances Nesbitt, and we did this beautiful um, group of tunes on a fantastic uh, RTE program called uh, Gantry. So I hope you enjoy this.
Mom is here. Here she is. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have to say first, ma'am, the amount of people, the amount of, of students, my students who have your fiddle book and 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 just love it and, and of course I love it. You know, it's it's really um what a resource, you know, and it's it's just fantastic, ma'am. You really Well, thanks for it. It was a dream of mine, you know, really, for yeah. years and years back because I, I was teach uh, teaching for over fifty years. It was a dream to produce something clear and concise and graded for young teachers yeah yeah uh, because i didn't have it myself when i was young yeah and um, that was uh, my motivation for for starting yeah. the book yeah and you know for me uh, to to be able to to dip into uh, fiddle you know and and of course the the beautiful design in the front of course is by Caroline Nesbitt of Designedly and it's just so beautiful and you know ma'am for me to to be able to to dip in as I said and and everyone on Raid Mondays knows that I always do a tune from my ma'am's book you're very good <laughs> very good I do I do and you know and it's it's fabulous my pupils and some some of them are um and of course all of them are very amazing on social media and they'll have they'll um you know, we'll, we'll have done uh, in my lessons, we'll have done a tune from your book and they'll have it up on their Instagram, you know, the next day and lovely ornamentation and the bowings in your book and everything. And of course, the beginning of the book is very, very informative for the ornamentation as well. Yes, indeed. And mm. um, I decided to approach the ornamentation by isolating each ornament in a tune yeah there uh, in other words taking away all the other ornaments out of the tune yeah. and highlighting a particular ornament and then of course when um the student or the teacher um had done the tune then they could put back their other ornaments yes but it yes. did highlight uh, each ornament separately which i thought well i thought it was a good way to approach it absolutely you know um and, and you know that's difficult to do because you have your your you want yes. to put in all the ornaments yes. but you're you're trying to explain one ornament and it's just uh, the 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 chapter two on the modes the chapter on O'Carlin mm -hmm. I mean there's so much in the book and I think we just wanted to just I wanted to bring you on anyway ma'am but of course and and also everyone just wants to say how they, how much they love the book, you know, and and there's lots of comments coming up here. Wouldn't be without it. <laughs> there's there's people the world over who have who have your book, and um, it's it's really wonderful. And do you know, myself and Michael played a tune um, earlier this week, and we decided we'd uh, pick the basket of turf. Um, oh, that yes. that tune, and it's mm -hmm. it's on page. 32 of the book everybody and also we did McKenna's um it's a oh, nice indeed. tune too. a lovely jig yeah a lovely jig Absolutely. and that's that's on page 67 as well so we did it because we had the we were uh, around this beautiful fire and you'll see Joey the cat going in and out so enjoy this <laughs>
<laughs> We're having great fun watching that. <laughs> and this is Dad, this is John yes. Nesbitt. And Hello. so um we you know we were just talking earlier on weren't we about about doing the album here in this very room oh, dad yes, yes it's a great that, honor and privilege you know but, great achievement but, but yeah, yeah. And, and and then and brian masterson here and yes. nate oh, and yes, brian yes, was so yes, good yes. yeah and three mm. generations of us all and you grew up playing uh, like i mean oh, nana, yes. nana your mother uh, I remember her playing the fiddle here in this room, Absolutely, Dad. Absolutely, yeah. You know, yeah. and and just just for us all to kind of get together in this room and you know do the album. Now it was, you know, it was oh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> it was scary. It was scary. It was scary because <laughs> <laughs> we had a weekend to do it. Yes, with a weekend, yes. and what a weekend it was, and yeah. we even got to get up the devil's bit as well on the Sunday as well, yeah. and we got to out to Templemore Park. And uh, we were trying to get a bit of a bit of breathers be between yeah. the the recordings. We were down in the cottage as well. Yes, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. just, just it was amazing. Full yeah, on. Really. <laughs> it was full on. Great. And we, you know, we also did Kaylee House. Do you remember Kaylee House being oh, here? Oh yes, yeah. uh, Kieran. Kieran Hanrahan. Yeah. Yes. Kieran Hanrahan came that was down. A great, a great, uh, Honor to have him here yeah, yeah, and house. and um, uh, with yeah. RT and oh, yeah, that was fantastic, yeah. and we 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 had a great time, and you know what, we have we have a little, a little clip, and I think we might have another one too. Enjoy this. Welcome to Kayleigh House and no applause at the start of the programme tonight. There's a very good reason for that actually because we're here uh, in the sitting room of the home of John and Kathleen Nesbitt just outside Lockmore in County Tipperary. We haven't room for an audience here because uh, we are literally surrounded by the extended Nesbitt family and we're here because well, we met the internationally renowned fiddle and violin player Maureen Nesbitt quite recently, who was celebrating the launch of her own album. But she told us that her parents and family had come together recently to record a new CD. The entire family, it was made right here in this room. So Maureen said, you should come down sometime. Now, we're delighted to be here because this is the sometime. And I have to say, uh, I met Kathleen on a few occasions over the years and we had said we must do this sometime. So we're delighted to be in the home uh, here of the Nesbitt family tonight for Katie House. Oh, that was fantastic. And the interviews as well that, that, that were done that day were amazing yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, they were. And yeah. we had so, such great, great fun, you know. And... Um, I think we have, we do have another clip. If I can just find it, everyone, for you. <laughs> we're, we're kind of snuggly, snuggly here. We're at. So this is another group of tunes from Kaylee House. Shout out to Kieran Hanneran. Kieran, we love you. And, you know, it was just an honor, as my dad said, to have yep. you down here. Definitely. And uh, um, here we go. Here's another set of tunes. <laughs> Another 
nice. We we love that. We love we love that tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. Favorites. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and oh. Kieran, Kieran had been uh, asking me uh, for years, saying, "Yeah, um, when are we going to do Katie House?" And yeah, I never thought we'd end up actually doing it. No, in our own room. room. I know, at yeah. home. Mm. Yeah, it's the best place to do it though. It was. Oh yeah. You know? Very well. Yeah, it really did. And and yeah. and they had a great time. They went to the cottage earlier on uh, before that day as well. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And yeah, um, nice they had a, a great day. They had their lunch and uh, they came here and they set up and mm. it was fantastic. Uh -huh. And another great time, I have to say, that we had everybody was with Fla TV. And, you know, it was just amazing to go down all of us together and and, yeah. and go down there <laughs> that was, oh, that, was a, that was some experience i think that's dad's favorite oh, one yes, absolutely <laughs> that was a highlight of our musical i know journey i know i know it was fantastic wasn't yeah. it it was yeah. just brilliant fun yeah. we all going down the convoy of cars and mm. and i think we were on uh john creedon's program we were earlier yeah, in the day. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And John had had he he had an interview with you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I think we both spoke to him. Yeah, and 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 then of course Tommy uh, joined and us Tommy there for, there for the concertina. concertina. Yes. And um, you know, is mm -hmm. it was just just fantastic. And yeah. you know what? Um, you know, I what a fitting uh, last episode with my family, everybody, and you know, I'm just. So I uh, feel so lucky to be here, especially at this time and to be here with my family and to be able to, to do this. You know, I'm yeah. very, very lucky after the, the period of uh, isolation and everything. And, you know, we just want to say, um, you know, loads of love to you out there. Yeah. Be safe and uh, uh, uh you know as as much as possible be safe and and be well and uh well we've lots more for you don't go away <laughs> but we just wanted to say that because um we're very um i'm very very thankful that uh, you know that i could do the last episode here so anyway listen we're going to play this flat tv for you because after this we have a selection of tunes for you outside and actually <laughs> Noel and, and, and Carl set up as well and Francis and you know we have another selection of tunes but turn up the volume on this guys because there's a big 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 massive crowd Do you remember the crowd yes, oh right. fantastic yes. crowd. absolutely amazing mm. wasn't it yeah. they yes. just they were fabulous mm. they were fantastic mm. and so turn up the volume
Thank you everyone so, so very much. Wow, wow, wow. The comments have been so amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know, it's it's um it's been fantastic for me and you know keep an eye out for my new podcast coming up celtic spells that's going to be um stories and it'll be stories for the fall and the winter cozy evenings and i just want to thank you all so much everybody but i have more coming up so here we go <laughs> I'm back at the cottage and I was here earlier interviewing Mary of the cottage in Lockmore and I really want to thank Mary for that chat and also I want to thank you all out there for tuning in on YouTube and on Facebook and on my podcast Maraid Mondays Chats, Tunes and Crack. This is my 20th episode and my last one and I really want to thank my special guests Kathleen Nesbitt and John Nesbitt and all my family, the Nesbitt family, for making it so special today. And tune in to MaraidNesbittViolin.com to check out all the exciting projects coming up. I'm so excited to share lots of exciting news with you. And it's a beautiful day today, and I'm just going to play a lovely tune for you. This is Thomas Moore's The Last Rose of Summer.